Hey, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful day here in Michigan. It's raining, not even 50 degrees, but it is what it is. So, hey, welcome. If you don't, if it's the first time here, I'm Olean Dan. Yeah, I'm getting getting old, getting gray. That's fine too. But it's October 16th, which I happen to know that one of my oh, he was one of my first subscribers, Mr. Thomas Cooper, is his birthday today. So happy birthday, Thomas. Hey, everybody want to give him a you know, leave a comment wishing him happy birthday today i'm back to working on the uts diesel it's kind of sprinkling out here but we've got work to do um back to working on the u diesel here um i did get part of the filters in already uh, my local auto parts did have the wix filters or could get them at least in a short manner so these will be the 33113 will be the first two. And like I said before, this one's are just a screen. Um, you can get those new. Um, they are reusable. I cleaned it out um, with some carb cleaner and stuff. And I actually found an oil filter for this tractor. It was not easy. The wicks, is, they're discontinued. <clears throat> and this tractor had a Baldwin filter in it that's that's part number T-57M look how big this thing is you know I got big hands you know that's choose the thing that's got to be close to a foot tall not easy to find um, I did a little searching on the internet with not much avail and uh, of course I just should have made the first phone call and called out the welters out in uh, Missouri and they got a couple on the shelf so I'm getting one of them so it's on its way but in the meantime so we'll get this thing uh, all back together uh, we won't be able to start it because I'm not gonna put oil in it yet because I don't have a filter so we'll wait for that but we'll uh, get everything else out I'm cleaning this old old o-ring out of here out of these two <clears throat> the one with the screen on it I'm gonna leave that alone because well I don't have an o-ring for in there a new one so oh another thing remember those boots I was telling you about that uh, I had those that people contacted me and sent to me it's called Hysea H-I-S-E-A here like that there so I've been wearing these things for a couple weeks now I've been wearing them I've been wearing them work so you know I'm moving around in them uh doing certain things you know for at least eight nine hours and to be honest with you they've been really comfortable i've been extremely happy with them um i think they're like 89.99 uh online you can buy them which you know for a work boot isn't that bad these are steel toe um i don't think there's any insulation in these that's luck no if there is it's very little in these um but anyways so those people have uh, sent me a, uh, a coupon code so you can save 15% on any any of their boots. Uh, doesn't matter. So if you're in a market for a boot, check them out. Um, I'll leave a, 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 a coupon code and uh, the, their website or whatever to go to uh, in my description for you. Um, I i've been pretty pleased i wasn't really looking for a pair of boots but they sent them you know say hey you want a pair of boots and do this and do that and i was like why not free pair of boots so i did so now i'm doing my part you know i'm giving me an honest review i've worn these for a couple weeks now and they seem to be holding up no i haven't been you know say you know working out in the field with them or anything but i am wearing them now but you know i'm on my feet on and off all day long walking around doing this doing that uh, I've been fairly happy with them. I would have paid that $89 for them. So, anyways, hey, check them out. Only if you're in the market for boots. But they have hunting boots and they have hiking boots and they have a. Just check them out. You know, it saves you 15%, which, you know, that might even cover shipping if you, you think about it. So, check those out. So, yeah, my nice new hat I got today, too. I happen to know a guy. So, anyways, we're back working on this U. This is an old gasket. It's coming out in pieces. Or, yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it's a gasket. So get this all cleaned out. I think I'll probably spray it down again with uh, some more. Uh... Here, I want to get you so you guys can see better what's going on here. There, I can still talk to you, yammering along. So, but yeah, them boots. Only, like I said, only if you're looking for them. Don't feel any pressure to do them. You don't get any boots. And if you like a particular brand, hey, stick with them. So. <clears throat> oh, last week was crazy. Man, I didn't get a whole lot of time to work in the shop here. This week doesn't seem so bad. Here, let's get that out of there for a... Boy, if you don't have a good dental pick, go ahead and get one. I mean, I'm not promoting anybody specifically, but man, and things. Buy a good one too. This is pretty heavy duty, but you know, they have all kinds with angles and this and that, but you need one. Do a lot of, get into a lot of spots. That really, really helps, so. Yeah, we're hopefully in a couple days that filter gets here and we'll be able to fire this baby up. At least try to. <clears throat> I didn't film it, but since Jake's home, me, him, and Nicholas, we finished buzz sawing up all the slab wood I had over there. And, uh, oh, what's that? We use the ZASI military. But uh, that tire gave out, so it's pretty bald, anyways. I gotta get a new tube and put a new rim or a new tube and tire on there. Oh well, because that one there, so next next year, I'd like to take the show or two just because it's kind of neat. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not real big on taking tractors to shows, but something local or if they're featuring military vehicles or Moline's, I'll consider it. So I almost went to a tractor show yesterday, but I didn't have time. It was only a one day show at a, oh, an orchard that's over an hour away. That'd have been kind of neat, but oh well. I'm gonna get a cable for this too, don't I? Come on, this stuff. Is, oh man, she's been in there a long time. Not, I would not consider this soft and pliable. Now, this, if it got in there, it'll fall right out. But, nope. I don't need no paint getting in there either. Well, my brother's talking about starting corn tomorrow. It's going to be quite a few days for the beans dry out. And he was saying in, in November they're calling for a little bit drier weather. That <clears throat> Don't get your panties in a twist yet. And be some good weather coming sometime. So. If you want to believe them weather guessers. So. Wow, this is really, really coming out of there difficult, so. Just a little piece at a time here. Yeehaw. I'll get this all cleaned out. I don't need to bore you with this and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back, Jack. Okay, so that screen, which I think, yeah, it's called a primary. That goes out. Oh, there's a little bit of crud in there. Let me get that out of there. That goes in the first one here. Spring loaded. 
And this one had the smaller of the two. What did I do with that bolt? I just had it in my hand. There it is. Okay, let's clean all the yickies and yuckies off. Yep, apparently this is a greaser egg. Okay. Cool. That was a 9 sixteenths, if I remember. And I didn't grab the 9 sixteenths, did I? Grabbed everything else. I got her now. And I got a ratchet. So everybody doesn't need to see Dan struggle with an end wrench. Okay. Don't have to get gorilla strength tightness on there. We're going to make sure this is still loose up here. I guess it wasn't ever loose. I may have to grab a pair of pliers. Yeah. We'll have to loosen that up because we've got to get air out of every one of these. All right. Okay. I'll pick those all up in a minute here. Okay. O ring goes in there. Boom, 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 boom. warmer day this would go in here a lot easier wouldn't it make sure we don't get a twisted sister here there we go let me grab my towel again what did i do with that clean that dirt there it is clean some of that paint stuff off of there oh i got some stuff in there i don't like that i don't need that in there Still got the drain out of the bottom, so hopefully this should all wash out. Okay. I believe these are the same. They're not directional, but we'll put the writing so it's up. How's that? There we go. Right, put the paint side towards the back. this one up yeah well we should be able to get this all back together and put some fuel in it and bleed it but that's about it until I get that filter for the oil oh got to change the oil in Jacob's pick or uh, car before he goes back to college so I got all this stuff to do that and the parts for my wife's treadmill came today so I'll have to put that together too I'm sure that would be the nice husbandly thing to do she puts up with me with all my tractor shenanigans. So that's the least I can do for her. Okay. All right, this one, it stayed in there, remember? This one I may have to use the wrench on. I don't know if I can get a ratchet in there or not. I think I got it started. Yeah, it feels like it. Mm. 
Then I gotta remember to put all the plugs and drains and everything else in. Okay. Let's see if I can get my ratchet in there. I don't know if I can or not. Nope. End wrench it is. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing down here. So you can see the underside. So these three bolts here are what hold those filter uh, bases on. Oop, I didn't like that sound. And it wasn't in there straight. That's probably my problem. I didn't have, I had it cockeyed a little bit. Okay, it scared me. Okay, there, that's tight. Okay, well, let's, uh, that gets the, we might as well put this plug in. That plug, this is the, the shut off and the drain. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna put some pipe dope on it. Try to keep something from leaking. I think I'll clean that off the ends. We'll get all of it in there. I don't know if it'll be. There. Okay. There's that one. All right, let's clean up your mess a little bit here. Plumbers, they use that uh, that purple primer in there, and they smear it all over. That way, the inspector can see it. Okay. All right, plug number two. All right, we think this is a 9 16 isn't it? And I have the 9 16 on a ratchet, don't I? Okay. I think what I'm gonna do, there, I didn't get that super duper tight, but, I'm going to leave the drain out and put some fuel in it and just flush some stuff out, some more stuff, just a little bit on the ground or not. I'll move a bucket over here just in case, but... Okay. But we'll put the shut off in first. Okay. I wonder if I should, you know what I should do? Yeah, that's probably what I should do. I should unscrew that. It won't, it won't turn anymore. There we go. I'll just do that. There. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
that too tight because then I won't be able to maneuver it. difference does it if I move that one way or another. Supply. Why that looks like it's moved, but mm. boy, don't look straight there, does it? <laughs> Well, I guess it's straighter than I thought it was. All right. It's turning easy enough. I don't think it's cross-threading. Wiggles back and forth, so... to grab the diesel jugs and I think we're nickel oh I think I see where he put them I'll have to find a funnel okay there's that <laughs> okay I'm gonna grab a funnel and I'll be back okay actually I got one of the jugs that has spout out of here maybe that'll work oh better move my bucket over here to catch some of the <clears throat> dribbage drib dribblage coming out yet there we go yeah, that don't look too bad okay actually looks pretty clean I'll let that run through That's the tractor, that's not me making that noise, just so you know. Although I did have a lot of coffee today. Okay. Let's see if the shutoff works. Wonderful. Okay. Alright, I think that's it. Not a half inch, right? 
Okay, I'll put the drain in. Okay. Okay, that's good and tight. Now we'll close the I think that's closed. We'll know shortly as soon as I open this up. That's the opposite. Okay. Okay. All right. See if I can get it to shut off now. There we go. Okay. That's all working. Okay, I gotta grab a wrench real quick so I can loosen up these two air bleeders also. Okay. Okay. Didn't get 50 degrees today. I don't know if the sun's going to shine either, so. All right. I think we're ready to put some more fuel in. Let's see. Yep, already turned that on. Okay. Might take it a minute, but. I'll do the far one first. You should squirt out of there. It's going to take a minute. You see the air bubbling out of that one. Maybe the primary is going to fill up first. See the bubbles coming out. All right, well, the battery died on me. So I closed these up real quick so we didn't lose any crucial footage. <laughs> so. Still got air coming out. It's all right. I've got another jug of diesel that I'll put in there if I have to. Oh, I got diesel coming out of the center one. Sweet. All right. Yep. I'll clean any dirt that wanted to float up out of there. All right. There's that one. Cool. Now what do I do with my wrench? Right there it is. Okay. Tighten that one up. Okay. There's that one. Who's next? Yeah, well, I might have to grab some more diesel. I got another can. Nope, I don't see it in there yet. Oh, now I do. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, there's two out of three. One more. Let's see if that was enough. Are you coming yet? Might need a little more, a little more fuel in there. Give enough uh, down pressure. So 
All right, I'll grab that and come back. You watch it just in case it starts squirting out of there when I, before I get back and you holler. Yeah, not even close yet. Okay, well, I'll get it. Put some more fuel on it. See if I can do this without spilling it all over me. Come on, baby. Gotta be getting close. Come on. There it is. Okay. All right. There. Now it's all blood. That part at least. It, it doesn't, I'm sure I didn't get 100% of the air out, but there's a lot of it. Cool. All right. There, and I got some more, more diesel left over for other things. All right, well, for the fuel fuel side of things, it's ready. But for the oil side, let me grab a tape measure. I, just, I forgot how big these were. That thing is six and a half inches wide and nine and a half, nine and five eighths inches tall. Peter, you in England, you do your own metric conversions, but anyways, yeah, that's quite a beast. I was a little bit concerned that uh, I wasn't gonna be able to find one and would have to try to clean that out somehow. And oh, I'm glad I found one. But uh, yeah, because all the all the Wix stuff that says obsolete, this and that. So I think another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to clean out some more of that sludge that's in there. And yeah, I should be able to. Uh, yeah, I can put that plug back in there. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there, so. Uh, update on the 950 project here. I think I've decided I'm gonna table it for a while. And the reason is, I wanna get that, I wanna get that ZA project we started, I wanna get that done. Um, instead of starting on something else, I am probably gonna pull this one back out then put it back there and move the Z here or or here or somewhere up here. And, uh, and and the reason is the freeze plugs were out. The front one was out and I, one of them on the, one of the other heads and three of them on the blocks. And I was gonna try to just put them back in, which I did get one in in, uh, in between the blocks here. Not easy to do, but I did figure out how. But my my gut is telling me that I need to take the heads off and have them checked. You know, the freeze plugs are off. Why? You know, good possibility it froze. You know, and they popped out. And especially with multiples popping out because they were they were laying in between the blocks here. Um, just makes me a little bit nervous. I don't want to get it all back together then have to tear it apart anyways so you know worst comes to worst i you know i take the heads off have them checked and yep i know it's going to cost me some money that's why i'm kind of table it for now but i'll get new head gaskets new block uh the block gaskets that go between the block and the crankcase um yeah i think that's that's probably probably what i should do um it's not a tractor that i have to have 
you know to do do stuff with i've got options around here plenty of options um but i do want to keep it inside so i think i'm gonna organize a few more things around here i mean i, I use that term loosely i'm gonna clean up this area here uh the forklift i'm hanging on to for now i think i'm gonna i got a use for that here shortly um so i'm gonna rearrange some stuff here so i can get more tractors in here but also uh a couple tractors up up towards the door here that uh i can be working on this winter and then you know get one done get it out of here bring another one in that way it's closest to the door and i wouldn't mind getting that rts in here somewhere <laughs> instead of in my garage but worst comes to worst i'll keep parking my pickup outside okay well i think that's probably enough for this video hey again like and subscribe if you want uh, again use that link below uh, to see those high sea boots check them out at least and the worst you can do is just not check them out that's up to you i'm not trying to pressure you i just want to make you aware they gave me an opportunity to save you 15 15 percent it's you know i know it's it's get coming fall they've got a lot a few hunting boots which I don't know anything about them. All I know is about the boots I got on my feet, and I've been happy with them. So in the meantime, we'll see you in the next one.